Hey everybody, it's Josh here. I've got a fun, quick, and very handy little tutorial for you here. In this one, I'm gonna show you how to create a Google review link. And we're gonna create two versions of a link. I'm gonna show you how to create one where the website user will click and it will show reviews. And then I'm gonna show you how to create one where they can click it and then it will bring them right to be able to leave a review. So prime example, Here's a site that we're wrapping up right now where this client has several review sources and they wanted to link to their Google reviews. So what we did is we created this to where you click the Google reviews and then it pops open this location's reviews. So people can scroll through, see all the reviews and then they can also write a review here. Now that's kind of an extra step. So if we wanted somebody to actually click to write a review, like I have a moving forward page that I offer to my clients once a website goes live. What I do on this one is at the bottom of this, I give them an option to click to write a Google review and watch this. This is actually gonna pop open my Google review page to where people can just leave a review right there. So really handy feature. Now, one thing I wanna say is there are quite a few different sites that will give you the option to be able to create these links. Like this is one I'll link to below. This is one I used to use quite a bit. But what I've found is that a lot of these sites will have trouble finding the business or creating the right link. Or in some cases, if a business is brand new on Google, uh, it won't register that business to be able to create the link yet. So what I'm going to do is show you how I create these links. It's very easy to do. It's kind of a manual way to do it, but it's super easy, really handy. And what we're going to do is we're going to create these two different links and put them right here in these buttons. And the cool thing about that is these links could be in a button image or anywhere else on your site. And this does not apply to just Divi or WordPress. This could be on any site or you could add this to your email or anything you wanna do. So with all that said, let's dive into it. First thing I'm gonna do, actually I'll stick right here on uh, this page here. So I've, I've essentially Googled in Transit Studios, my web design business, and I need to replace my adorable dog there with a more professional <laughs> picture here. Uh, but what I've done is I've Googled in Transit Studios and what I'm gonna do is click the Google reviews right here. Now, if you Google a business and you're not on their actual profile, you do wanna make sure you get to their profile to where you can see the reviews because this is how we're gonna do this. And what we're gonna do is click that and then that's gonna bring open the window where again, people can either scroll through reviews or they can click to write one. Now, what I wanna do is I'm just gonna bring my screen down here and you'll see that this link when I popped open the reviews is very, very large, but this is technically the link that opens this window up. So what I'm gonna do is take that, I've got a copy and I'm gonna go to Bitly, which is what I use for, for uh, making long links a little shorter, but you can use any sort of link shortening site. And I'm gonna paste that link and let's create this link and there we go. We have our link for the reviews. So. Let's add this in the button here in Divi. Again, you don't have to use Divi for this though. You could place this on a menu or any site that you want. And let's add that in there and let's go ahead and save and exit the visual builder here. And now what I'm gonna do is test this. So when I click see reviews, we should see that window pop up with all the reviews. So let's click that. And there we go. You can see it's opening and then pop opens the reviews, and again, people can scroll through all these or write one. Now again, we did wanna make it so that people could write a review as well. So what I wanna do in that case is if I click write a review, that will change the URL up here to where it will pop open this window. Now, again, you can take this whole URL and you could put that in a button, but that's gonna get very cumbersome when you put a massive URL as a link and a button or an image. So again, I use Bitly, but you could use any site that you wanted to to shorten a link. So I'm gonna create this link and let me put this back up here for us. And there we go, that one's already copied. So let's go back to our site. Okay, so we're back on the site and I've got that new URL copied, which was the one that is gonna bring them to the window to leave a review. And let's add that in there and check this out. Let's go ahead and save and exit. And now this should bring us right up into that window where they can actually leave a review. How cool is that? Easy peasy, right? So that's it guys. All you have to do is literally just search a business and then make sure you're on their profile click the reviews, and then if you want the link for people just to see reviews or have the option to write a review, when you're on this window, just take that URL, then you, I would recommend using a site to uh, shorten the URL, or if you want people to have a link to actually leave a, view, a review directly, 
just click that button and then it will change the URL ever so slightly. Again, highly recommend shortening that and that's what you'll use. So easy peasy guys, hope you've enjoyed this. My clients love this feature and I often give them like an email template or something for them to be able to use if they wanna capture reviews, it really helps. I'm actually gonna start applying this to more of my sites. And, and again, highly recommend using this for your sites and also your clients, they'll really love you for it. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one and I'll see you on the next tutorial.